Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I have a cup and a half of pecans, y'all. I'm getting ready to toast them. I'm putting them in my oven. My oven is preheating to 350 degrees. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm gonna go in and put them in there. I'm gonna set the timer for about 10 minutes, okay? So again, that was about a cup and a half of pecans that I've already chopped. So y'all, let's get into this hummingbird cake that I'm doing today. Believe it or not, we're not doing it pound cake style. I'm going to do it the classic, traditional style. And one of the reasons, it's a couple of reasons I want to do it that way. Um, I want more icing, believe it or not. I want the icing in between each layer. Okay, I just think with this cake, you just need a little bit of icing in every bite. That's just me. But also, what I want to do is start incorporating some other desserts or cakes, desserts, in addition to my pound cakes. Now I went, I, I went, I went all out last year doing these pound cakes um, around holiday season. Pound cake, pound cake. I was pounding y'all with the pound cakes. So what I've decided to do this year is I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and just do some different desserts because some people are really intimidated by pound cakes, okay? Some people are intimidated, some people are just scared to try it. Um, some people don't really care for pound cakes. Some people feel like that's just too much work. Can I just get a quick, easy dessert to do that's also delicious? So that's what we're gonna do. Now, I know some of you may not like um, Thank you, ma'am. It's my oven. It's ready. Some of you may not like recipes that aren't made from scratch or that aren't considered, you know, a lot of times when people say homemade, they mean scratch. Honey, if you make it at home, it's homemade. All right? So, um, again, some people don't like it if it's not made from scratch. I mean, everything has to be from scratch. The three cups of flour. They don't like box mix box cake mix anything but I'm going to incorporate some easy desserts that anybody should be able to do that are also delicious you all might be surprised the bakeries that actually incorporate additional um, ingredients in with cake box mixes you might would be surprised okay so again I'm wanting anybody that wants to know how to bake to be able to do so. So we're gonna incorporate some other things, some things that are easy. Even maybe experiment and try some um, some different kinds of quick breads that are already in the package and you just have to kind of mix it up. So that's what I wanna do. And I'm gonna start with this hummingbird cake. Now again, it's one that's been highly requested, but I wanna give a huge shout out to Katina over at Cake Confections because Katina actually sent me the recipe that she uses for her hummingbird pound cake or bunt cake. But again, I'm gonna do this the classic way. But I'm going to link, for those of you, some of you may want to do it pound cake style, I'm going to link Katina's video in the description of this video. So you guys can go over, check out her channel, check out her recipes, check out this hummingbird cake that she's done. Let her know that I sent you, okay? All right, so back to this cake. You guys, we're actually going to measure stuff out, mix it up together. And you all will see how quick and easy it is. Y'all, I'm not even pulling my... I moved my mixer. The mixer's sitting over there on the other counter. I'm not even going to use the mixer today. But what I have done is I already washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, y'all. Because that's just nasty, okay? So for this cake, we're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour. Y'all, I'm not using anything fancy. This is some great value all-purpose flour from Walmart. Simple. I'm going to use some pure vegetable oil. Aldi. Okay, now if I didn't mention the flour, I'm using three cups of flour. I'm going to use, uh, let me check my little notes I wrote. I'm going to use one and a fourth, one and one fourth cup of vegetable oil. Let's see. We have bananas, of course, you guys. I make sure I let them sit and sit. And sit and sit and sit. 
That's the reason they looking real brownerish, y'all. But that was intentional because it, it makes them sweeter. Okay? These are the kind of bananas my granddaddy used to love to eat. Mm. Anywho, so they're going to be sweeter. I've already said the one and about one and a half cups of my pecans. I'm going to be using two cups of sugar. Let me, oh, let me peep at my pecans, honey. Don't do this. Don't be burning your pecans, lady. Let me come and get these out. I think they about to be. Oh, and they smell so good. Okay. Yeah, I think we're ready. So we're just going to sit those over here. Oh. Y'all, make sure you toast your pecans. It makes a world of difference. It just enhances the flavors, the flavor of those pecans. Okay. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of uh, salt. And you guys, I'm going to use a little bit more cinnamon. I'm going to use like a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, you're telling a story. I'm going to use like one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I have three large eggs here. They are room temperature and I have already cracked them. I already mentioned the oil, one and a fourth cup of vegetable oil. I'm going to use a tablespoon of vanilla. It is my pure vanilla extract. And you guys, I want, I'm going to add just a little bit of my pineapple oil. I want just a couple of drops, okay, to enhance this pineapple even the more. I'm going to be using um, eight ounces of this crushed pineapple. I'm also going to be using the juice that's in it. Now, this is a 20-ounce can, so I'm just going to scoop some out until I get 8 ounces. But I'm going to, you know, keep the juice. I'm probably not going to use all the juice in this can. But as I scoop and the juice comes out, I'm going to keep the juice. All right? We've already showed you my, my real, 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 real ripe bananas, the roasted pecans. So, you guys, we're going to get this cake mixed up. I have my one bowl that I'm going to be using for my dry ingredients. The other bowl I'm going to be using for my wet ingredients. You guys, we're not sifting anything. I hope you all realize and if you try this, it's easy peasy. Okay, it's a wonderful dessert, especially for the upcoming holidays. So you guys, let me know if you enjoy um, this video, okay? I was crushing my pecans. All right, let's start getting mixed up. Okay, now we're going to measure everything out together. And we're going to start with our three cups of flour. And you guys, um, I need to stress the fact that there's a difference in measuring cups, okay? Some of you may know, some of you may not. This is for dry measuring, okay? This is a dry measuring cup. A cup like this is for liquids, okay? So just know that there is a difference. We're going to start off with three cups of flour and I'm going to do what's called the spoon method. And I'm just going to spoon this in. And this is how I'm going to do this over this paper. Okay, and then I'll pour it back in. But you just, you just slide your um, knife over it and then that's how you get it that's how you measure it okay you don't shake it you don't pack it down you just spoon it in and then use your knife to level it off that's two So I'm done the excess I can just put it back in the bag. That's why I like to do it over this wax paper. 
All right. What you got? Let's see how quick it's going to be to mix up this cake. Now we need two cups of sugar. We're going to have, I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. You guys know I like flavor, so I wanted a little bit more cinnamon. So that's one. And we're just going to do a little less to make it a half. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Then we're going to do one teaspoon of baking soda. Wipe off this cinnamon. One teaspoon of baking soda. And you guys, I usually just slide it across the top of um get this out. Try that again. I usually just slide it across the top of the box. Okay. And we're doing a teaspoon of teaspoon of salt. Time me to get some more salt, y'all. Teaspoon of salt. That's the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna take my little whisk and we're mixing it all together. Just like that. Okay. So now for our wet ingredients. I'm going to start with my, so I can see the measurements on here, one and one fourth cup vegetable oil. Here are my three large eggs. Break up these yolks a little bit. Ooh. Tablespoon of vanilla. There's not much in here. It's about a tablespoon left, so we're going to go in and put our lid in there. Now for my pineapples, the fact again that I need eight ounces, I'm just gonna scoop some in here and um, whatever juice comes with it. And again, I purposely didn't want to do this ahead of time. I wanted us to do this together. Like I said, I wanted to see how easy it is to mix up this cake. Okay, that's my eight ounces of pineapple. My four extremely ripe bananas. Look at that, y'all. They're going to be so sweet. Mm -hmm. I have my masher here so I can so I can mash them up. Yeah, that's going to be a good old sweet, sweet bananas. Oh, 
sweet, sweet bananas. Mm. And you guys, I'm going to do um, the cream cheese um, icing. And I'll be using a stick of butter and eight ounces of cream cheese. powdered sugar. Probably going to use about three cups of powdered sugar. And I almost forgot. Let me add just a little drop of my pineapple oil. Just a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. And then we're going to add maybe about half a cup of the pecans. Ooh, that pineapple oil smells so good. And all we're getting ready to do is combine let me make sure I mix that up good with the eggs before I do that. Okay. And for those of you, if you don't like pecans, you can totally omit the pecans. Totally omit. That's what I love about baking. Well, just doing recipes, period. If there's certain things that you don't like, I mean, minus that scientific part of, you know, you've got to have a certain amount of eggs and if you need buttermilk or if you need regular milk. But when it comes to, you know, flavorings or different additives like nuts or pineapples, if it's something you don't like, don't add it. And we're just trying to get this moist. We're not trying to whip it. Okay? Alright, I cleaned off my countertop some so I could get my cake pans over here. Alright, and I've sprayed three of my pans thoroughly with Baker's Joy. And you guys, what I have around here is my bake even strips that were sent to me by a subscriber and they are damp so they are wet and you just wrap them around your layer pans to help with even baking okay so we're just going to get these filled sizzling that's the, the um, sizzle is the bake even strips that are damp okay all right I'm gonna set my timer for 25 minutes if I need more time then I'll add it and we have been baking for 25 minutes We're just going to cool. See how pretty and golden brown and even they look. I smell the banana. It smells like banana nut bread. <laughs> so we're going to cool for a little bit before we take them out. Now while the layers are still cooling, 
going to go on and do my icing. And when I do my glaze, I normally, I always do it by hand. I don't use a mixer. So we're going to see, I'm hoping I can do this icing by hand as well so I won't have to pull out the mixer. I do not like, um, when I have to do an icing, I don't like it really, really stiff. So I'm going to see if I can just get it done without having to pull out the mixer, okay? cheese. So that's the cream cheese. So that's one eight ounce block of cream cheese and one stick of butter. They were both room temperature. So shouldn't be too hard. See how, e how easy it is for me to mix this up. Hope I can do it by hand. I want to add a little bit of my cream bouquet. This is just a cake flavoring. It, it, well, it's an artificial flavor. And I'm going to add a little bit of that to my icing. And then my pure vanilla. Add a little bit of pure vanilla. People ask how does the cream bouquet taste? I always say it's like bakery in a bottle. I don't know how to describe it, you guys. It just it just tastes good. That's just the best way I know how to describe it. And what I'm gonna do, I'll probably end up using maybe about three um, cups of this powdered sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of this pineapple juice too. See, that's not hard to do. Like I said, this is a good arm workout. You can always pull out your mixer and do this if you would prefer, but I just rather get the arm workout. And I'm going to we make it a little thicker but if I don't add too much powdered sugar in the beginning it helps me you know get it mixed up and smooth okay so we're just going to add some more powdered sugar and keep mixing mix until it's my desired consistency so I'll keep adding powdered sugar if I need to until I get it as thick as I want it all right now it's time for the fun fun part and that's adding the icing Y'all see how creamy this is? And I just did it by hand, okay? Like I say, feel free to use a mixer if you like, but I'd just rather do it by hand.
And usually if I do have an end that's lower or higher than the other, you see how that end over here, over here, it's a little lower. I try to find the high end of the next layer and put it where the low end is to help kind of, to help even it out. I think y'all know what I'm trying to say. I think y'all understand what I mean. Oh, I didn't pull out my little turntable. I think that's the high side. Makes it harder to ice in a cake when the icing is so stiff. Classic hummingbird cake with roasted pecans and a thick, creamy cream cheese icing. Not glaze, you guys, but icing. It is time. Y'all have a hot day. What do you make? Okay. Yes, but. Mr. Gaffel? What's the matter? Come on, man. You alright? Come on, let's do Come here. Oh, that's all. Well, keep your big mouth in the nose. Yeah, why don't you pick them up? <laughs> What's this here? He in a mood. He just woke up. Oh, you in a mood? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the day in your little pose? They're right there in your little posing positions. What is this? A carrot cake? Uh, no. It's not a carrot cake. Well, it looks like it's a carrot cake. Ooh. That's Ooh. Like. Ooh. Mm. Wait a minute. I got to see this. Let me see it. That's. That looks good. Look, y'all. What? <laughs> what is it? What do you see? Wait a minute. What you see right there? You taste it, it first. It looks Maybe like I'm gonna taste it first. It looks like stuff. It looks like stuff in the cake. Jackie, you want you want the cake? You can't have any. Get your own little man. Put a pecan in. Oh. Excuse look me. Look like I don't I don't taste I don't see this cake. The taste is from. You want the cake? You gonna open your mouth? Hey, now. I might get in the corner and get the little front piece. Yeah, there's a big corner everywhere you look on this one. What is it? What is it? Tell me what you say. And I'm going to tell you why you're going to like it. Why you got to put your big nose in? Mm -hmm. Hey, if it was a little yellow, it would be a carrot cake. All right. Come on. You in the mood? Wait a minute. You gonna say hey to everybody? Look. Wait a minute. Jackson. You looking at the cake. I'm gonna say hey. You gonna wave? Hmm? Say hey everybody. They've been asking about you. You know what? What it tastes like. I know you're gonna like it. Banana good. bread. I, that's exactly what I said. It tastes like banana bread. That's not it? It's called a hummingbird cake. Oh really? Mm-hmm. So it has bananas. It has. It tastes like banana bread. It's good. It's moist. It's moist. moist. It has. It has bananas. It has pecans, um, and it has pineapples. Mm -hmm. Are you tasting the hint of the, the pineapple? The pineapples. There they go. Can you taste the pineapple? That's like just a hint. Mm -hmm. I can taste. I can taste. It's like it's just a hint. So when you take it to work tomorrow, 
let folk know it has pecans in it. They're allergic to nuts. So, okay. Mm. Y'all, that is good. This is something different. My husband asked me, he said, what made you do this kind of cake? I said, um, I'm trying to, I'm going to do some different things. It's, it's been a highly requested cake. And um, I wanted to try it. I wanted to do, the classic is the layer form like this. And I just, because some people are really intimidated by pound cakes. Some people, you know, and pound cakes can be funny. It's like you can do everything right and then sometimes it just don't want to do right. So, and it can be frustrating. Uh, some people don't want to take, the, they feel like pound cakes, that's too much. That takes too long. So I want everybody. This is moist. Any this good? Is I want everybody to be able to bake something if they so desire. So. I'm going to do some different things, maybe some layer cakes, cakes where you even add stuff to it to make the box cakes taste better and taste good. That way any and everybody can can fix desserts, you know, no, especially if it saves you time. Who doesn't want to save time? So I just figured I'd incorporate and I knew you would like it because y'all, he loves banana nut bread. So I knew you would like the cake. Can you taste a little hint of the pineapple? It's good. I knew you would like it. This is good. Let me get a little piece without um let me get a little piece without quit it. I'm trying you so stingy. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't have um Jackson may like it and he may not. That doesn't have ice on it. You want that? I was trying to get a little piece that didn't have pecans in it. How grandma get you on the thought? Did you just say <laughs> he just woke up. Oh, okay. So the man used to be on ten. So you like it? Mm-hmm. Save me a little corner with, give me, give me that little corner with that on the icing. Well, you guys, it was something different. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks again to Katina with uh, Cake Confections. Lord, I hope I said your channel right because I didn't have, I don't have my little notes in front of me now. <laughs> I think, I think, I think that's right. But anywho, so remember she did the bunt cake form or pound cake form of the hummingbird so i'm gonna that's gonna be in the description box below okay you good babe that's good you want some more man there are a lot of oh, mm. oh wait a minute i got to show y'all the cake lord i'm sorry wait a minute jackson we have to get a thumbnail i'm getting ready i'm getting ready to turn everything off y'all look that's pretty look at that and, and see, even, even with my look, I, of course I roast the nuts. I mm -hmm. always, you can tell, can't you? Yeah, can. It certainly important. enhances the flavor. You guys, mm -mm, that's, that was a big one that fell down. Y'all roast your nuts. Because it makes a world of difference. Okay. You looking at me funny, huh? <laughs> I figured you were. <laughs> that didn't sound good. It didn't sound good. Okay, well, they know what I mean. I'm ready at all, y'all. Say what? It didn't sound right at all to me. It's couple years, man. I don't know what that was either. Baby, years. move on. Let me see. I'm trying to make sure you um. This is good. Move to the this right a little bit. Really, that way, when I add the um. This really is good. You gonna look up? I'm trying to make sure you can see. Ooh, the cake good too. Okay, that's going to have to do it. And I was telling them I like the way I did. For one, you know, I really don't care to ice and cakes. That's, that, y'all, yeah, that'd be too much work. So the way I drug the knife around the side, it makes it look rusty. It's good, this is baby. Good. good. I knew, I knew you would love it. Y'all, oh, I see another pineapple. And I'm glad I added a little bit of, I don't know if you guys can see the pineapples. I'm glad I added a little, um, I'm glad I added a little bit of the pineapple oil. You know, because those bananas are, uh, those bananas just are, are mm. very prevalent. This is so good. Because you like, you love banana nut it's bread. so, you know what? It would have to be 
delicately done, but microwave this just warm it up a little bit. Mm. You always talk about putting something in the microwave. Yeah. It's like warm bread. This is uh, it really tastes like banana bread. Banana nut bread. That's what I thought too. It's good. Let me hold the floor. You're so stingy. Let me icing. Mm. And that's why This is incredible. I wanted the icing more than just on the top. I said every bite needs to have a little bit of this cream cheese icing. You have a better chance of doing that when you do a layer cake. And that's just, like I said, classic. That's good, y'all. Okay. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Turn on that notification bell. You want to get every single text. Can you this bad? She just ran that this. For real? I'm glad. I knew you would love it. I know. And I was like, oh, he's going to love this. Mm hmm. Okay. Hit the Baby, nosy. look at it. Hit the nosy, people. You're calm today. Yes, distinguished. You're savoring, you're savoring. 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 Distinguished. You savoring. must be really enjoying that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I told them to turn on the notification bell. You are quiet. There must be some kind of good to you. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we're going to... I'm not going to stop doing pound cakes. We will always do pound cakes, but I'm going to incorporate some other stuff, too, as it pertains to dessert. And if for some reason, if it's a dessert that you don't care to eat, just look at the video for entertainment. Or if you don't want to do that, then check us out in the next video. This is a grown folks cake. Grown, it's grown folks cake. We played with children later on yesterday. A couple of it's ready. good. And I hope you guys think it was so simple. I didn't even use my mixer. My mixer. I did it all by hand. Really? Even the icing. Yes. That's how so, easy I it is. I thought it like you was working out a little bit. On my arm? Yeah. I just see your guns kind of, you know, the See pistols. my guns? See my guns? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. You all right, baby? Mm -hmm. Y'all, he just, he just woke up. You gonna tell everybody bye? We already look forward to you joining us again next time, Jackson. Jackson, you gonna tell everybody bye? You gonna wave bye bye? I guess not today, y'all. You gonna wave bye? No? Okay. Bye! You gonna tell them bye? Bye. Bye. What's the movie? Is it Silence or the Lamb? This is good. I know. He is enjoying this cake. Now I know what to do to make your butt be quiet. Yes, honey.